Welcome everyone. In order to change the boot animation, we're going to go into the Steam menu and then we're going to open up the settings app. We're going to find where it says system and under software updates, you do need to be on the latest SteamOS software in order for this to work. Once we have verified that, we're going to long press the power button until we see the power menu. We are then going to tap on switch to desktop and now we should be brought to the desktop mode. Once we have changed the boot logo, we don't need to re-enter this mode. Inside of the desktop mode, we now need to open up a browser. So I'm going to use the Google Chrome. In your case, you most likely need to tap on the start menu and then you should see Firefox here and you can open Firefox. If you do not have a browser on your Steam Deck, I will have a tutorial on how to get one in the description. It should only take a minute. Once we have opened up the browser, we're going to long press the Steam key and while holding down the Steam key, we're going to click on X and the keyboard should now show up. So I will have the link in the description. The link you need is this reddit.com forward slash r forward slash steam deck boot vids. If you have issues with this link, make sure you add the r slash and the steam and deck boot vids will have the capitals at the beginning. So once we are here, we just need to find a boot up which is in the dot webm format. Okay, so let's have a look at this GitHub. Let's see, and this looks like a whole effort. So we're not gonna use that one. We're just gonna find a quick and easy download. From the Reddit, I found this website here, steamdeckrepo.com. So, you know, again, it doesn't really matter where you go. All you need to do is just find a video and download it. So we have the download button here. Once we have the download, we're going to show in the folder. So let's long press on this video and then we're going to tap on the rename. Try and get the rename to work. So we'll click on the video once and we're going to use the L2 button to right click. We're going to find where it says rename and we just want to rename this to deck underscore start up okay so just verify that you've entered that in like this and now we have the deck underscore startup dot webm so we're going to right click this again and then we're going to click on copy once this has been copied we're going to click on the home button here we're going to click on the triple lines and you're going to see the show hidden files. We're going to tick this and now follow me. We're going to double click into dot steam. And then from here, we're going to double click into dot root. Once we are in root, we're going to click on the config folder here. And then we're going to do a right click. We right click by clicking on the L2 button. So click release L2, hover over create new, and then click on folder. The folder name, we access the keyboard by long press steam plus X. So the folder name we're going to use is UI, UI overrides. Okay, so not overrides overrides and just tap on OK to create the folder. So we're going to double click into the folder now and then we're going to create a new folder called movies like this. Now double click into here. We're going to right click and then we're going to paste our movie file. So it says it doesn't exist, excellent. So we'll have to copy the file again. 
and we'll go back into the root folder, config. So we'll just go back to the previous folder and then paste again. And there we go, so now it works. So a couple of things that may go wrong. First of all, make sure the directory is correct. You go to dot steam root then config. Make sure that you have spelt these two folder names correctly. Make sure the startup.webm is spelled correctly as well. You cannot do multiple startups because it will only use the deck underscore startup.webm. If this file name is incorrect, it will use the default startup. And if there are any other files in this folder, it will not look at those files, okay? If you ever want to reverse this, just delete the UI overwrites folder. So now we're going to do a restart and you're going to see the custom boot animation. If your boot animation is longer than 14 seconds, the SteamOS will cut it off. Okay, so you can't have like a two minute boot up. Uh, the ideal length is 10 seconds, but you can go shorter. Let's have a look. And there we go. That is the custom video. Okay, I can assure you. That is not what you see regularly. One other thing to note is that when you use a custom boot up, it will take longer for your system to boot. So that is also something to keep in mind. Okay, but this is pretty cool. And uh, with that being said, please do help me reach 1K subs by clicking on the subscribe button. Bye bye.